talk of uh, okay, uh, the second talk of um, today's morning session is going to be given by Reza Muhammad Poor from University of Bordeaux, and the title is self-explanatory. Yeah, thank you very much for introduction. Do you hear me? Oh, okay. Uh, first of all, thank the organizer for organizing such a nice conference. I'm so happy to be here to see friends, colleagues, and. Uh, and before I start my talk, feel free to ask any question, interrupt me. If the somewhere is not clear, please ask uh, a question. Uh, let me mention the general setting of the, this talk. X is a compact metric space, which is endowed with metric T. X is a topological dynamical system in the continuous function, compact metric space X. And MXT, the space of the all thin variant borel probability measure, which is compact and convex with respect to weak star topology. And EXT is subset of the ergodic measure, which is extreme uh, set of the, the space of the thin variant borel probability measure. So the other general setting of the, this talk. Let F be the continuous function of the compact metric space X. We denote by S and F the sum of the F composition of the F TK from K zero till N minus one and call this one Berkhoff sum and limit one over N of the Berkhoff sum as N goes to infinity is called Berkhoff average. By Berkhoff ergodic theorem, we know that this limit exists almost everywhere. So one may ask about of the minimum or maximum value of the Berkhoff average. We denote by alpha f the limb uh, one over n in film of the Berkhoff sum over compact metric space x, and beta f the limb one over m supremum of the Berkhoff sum over the compact metric space x. And the limit exists because of the, the supremum of the, this is a sub additive, and it's also by compactness, beta f is a supremum value of the, the uh, Berkhoff averages, and the alpha f is a minimum value of the Berkhoff averages. And alpha F and beta F are called minimal and the maximal ergodic averages of F respectively. It's also easy to see that alpha F is e sorry, equal to minus beta minus F. Instead of the F consider minus F in the definition, it's easy to see that alpha F is equal to minus beta minus F. So we can just focus in discussion of the quantity beta, which is the Berkhoff maximizing uh, average. And uh, it can be characterized as a supremum of the integral of T mu over the space of the chain variant Borel probability measure. Since the space of the chain variant Borel probability measure is a compact and convex with respect to weak star topology, supremum is always attained. And such a measure will be called it Berkhoff maximizing measure. And I denoted by M max F, the set of the invariant measures such that the maximal uh, Berkhoff average is equal to integral F team. And we know that the, the set of the M uh, max F or Berkhoff maximizing set of the Berkhoff maximizing measure is always non-empty. In fact, it is compact and convex with respect to weak star topology. I think that because of the some reason your map is expansive, then this implies that upper semi-continuity of the entropy. So there exists equilibrium measure for the potential of TF. I would like to study behavior of the equilibrium measure of the mu T for potential of the TF when T goes to infinity. In the thermodynamic interpretation of the parameter T, it is the inverse of the temperature. And limit T goes to infinity are called zero temperature limit. And the accumulation point of the, this, I mean, sequence of the equilibrium measure mu T as T goes to infinity are called grand state. And zero temperature limit law are also related to ergodic optimization of the Berkhoff averages because for T goes to infinity, any accumulation point mu of the equilibrium measure of the mu T will be maximizing measure. It means that the integral of FT mu equal to Berkhoff maximizing measure. So that's the relation between of the zero temperature limit and 
a good optimization of the bare hop averages. We also have a continuity of the zero temperature limit in the sense of the Lyapunov exponent and entropy. It means that limit integral ft mu t when t goes to infinity equal to integral ft mu and limit of the measure theoretical entropy h mu t t goes to infinity equal to h mu t. These two facts are clear, but both are true when x is not compact. I'm working with compact metric space, but what I'm just saying then, when x is not compact, they are true under certain assumption. In fact, one one was proven by Urbanski, Jenkinson, Madeline under certain assumption when x is not compact, and one two was proven by Ian Morris under certain assumption when x is not compact. As I mentioned, Berkhoff average exists for almost every point. So one may ask about the size of the dose of the point where the Berkhoff average exists. So I denote by EF alpha, set of the dose of the point where the Berkhoff average exists and equal to alpha, which we call it alpha level set of the Berkhoff spectrum for a given alpha from the set of the L, set of the alpha such that there exists X, the Berkhoff average exists and equal to alpha, which call it Berkhoff spectrum. As I mentioned, I'm interested in the size of the alpha level set. But what does it mean size? The size usually calculated in terms of the topological entropy in the sense of the above end, because alpha level set is not necessarily compact set. So we use of the topological entropy in the sense of the above one or Hausdorff dimension, but their definition are close to each other. And I denoted by H top Z topological entropy of the T restricted to Z or simply topological entropy. It denotes by PVT, the topological pressure for a potential TV. It is well known when XT is the transitive subshift finite tab and F is a continuous, alpha level set is a non-empty if and only if alpha belongs to omega, which is set of the integral FT mu. Mu belongs to a space of the T invariant borrowed probability mesh. And topological entropy of the alpha level set is equal to infimum of the topological pressure minus alpha T over real number, and that's equal to supremum of the measure theoretical entropy, uh, such that the integral of t mu equal uh, alpha over the space of the team variant borrowed probability measure, for all alpha belongs to omega, and omega is the set of the integral of t mu. This formula is called restricted variantial principle because we restrict variantial principle to alpha level set. And this formula was proven by Feng. So this formula is called restricted variantial principle. Still here, are there any questions? Okay, great. Assume that phi n is a continuous positive value function on the compact metric space X. We say that capital phi, which is set of the log a small phi n. Is the sub additive potential if phi n plus mx is smaller or equal than phi n x, phi m, t n x for all x and m n? And almost additive potential if there exists c greater one for all x and m n belong to national number, we have a c minus one phi n x, phi m, t n x is smaller or equal than phi n plus x is smaller or equal than c phi n x, phi m t x. And additive potential if phi n plus x equal to p n x, p m, t n x for all x and m n belong to national one. Berkhoff sum is an example of the additive potential because one can write p n equal to e power s n f1. So let us see the example of the sub additive potential. The natural example of subadditive potential are matrix cosa. To be more precise, uh, given a continuous map A from the compact matrix X to a space of the invertible matrices, we consider product of the A and X, which is equal to A, T n minus X, till A X, 
and the pair of the TA is called a linear cocycle. Linear cocycle can be written as a skew product, which is XV goes to T and X and A and XV. And if T is the invertible, so F is, to be more precise, F minus X is a equal T minus X, A minus XV for each N greater or equal one, where a power minus n x equal to inverse of the a t minus x till inverse of the um, a t minus one. Before I mean that I show that why the matrix cocycle are example of the subadditive potential. Let us see example of the linear cocycle. The simple example of linear cocycle is one step cocycle or locally constant cocycle which is defined as a follows. X is a symbolic space, T is a shift map, and given a finite matrices A, and pay attention the number of the matrices, the corresponding of the number of the symbol. And I define the function A from X to a space of the team, uh, to a space of the invertible matrix as a follow. Take any point and project it to first coordinate, Sorry, zero coordinates, and I assign one of the matrices. Ax equal to x. Yeah, and this is called one step cycle. For example, if you consider a barely measure at the base map, then it looks like of the random box. You are working with the random box. So let's come back to previous question. I want to show that matrix cycle are example of sub-additive potential. By Kimang Sabati Ergodic theorem, for any mu, uh, mu belong to a space of the T invariant borrowed property measure, a mu almost every x, such that the positive part of the log A is integrable, toply upon of exponent x exists, which is the limb one over n, the log norm A and x. Norm is an operator norm or first singular value. But here you see that it's sub additive, to be more precise, uh, norm of the A and uh, m power a n x is smaller equal than norm a m t n x times norm a n x for all x and m. So matrix cycle is an example of the subadditive potential. And uh, let me mention one historical comment. Kimang subadditive uh, ergodic theorem was proven in the 1968, but for some question, the proof that the existence of the top of exponent in the 1960. And uh, let us denote the uh, Lyapunov exponent measure or chi mu a is the integral of the top Lyapunov exponent. And if the measure mu is ergodic, then top Lyapunov exponent is equal to Lyapunov exponent measure mu almost everywhere. If you remember, I started by definition of the Berkhoff averages, and I'm interested in to find of the minimum value and the maximum value of the Berkhoff average. So, Similarly to what we did for Berkhoff averages, one can minimize or maximize the top Lyapunov of exponent. I mean, this value. One can minimize or maximize the top Lyapunov of exponent. To be more precise, we denote the maximal Lyapunov of exponent by beta A, which is the limb one over N, the log supremum of the norm X over the compact metric space X. Again, the limb exists because of the subadditivity. And that's equal to supremum of the Lyapunov exponent measure over the space of the T invariant Borel probability measure. Since the Lyapunov exponent measure is upper semi continuous and the space of the T invariant Borel probability measure is a compact and convex, supremum is attained. And we denote by alpha a limb infimum of the one over n log infimum of the norm a in x over the compact metric space x. And that's equal to infimum of the Lyapunov exponent measure over the space of the chain variant Borel probability measure. This infimum doesn't necessarily attain. It means that one can give an example the such that Lyapunov exponent measure, there does not exist any invariant measure such that the Lyapunov exponent measure equal to minimal Lyapunov exponent. And we denote by mx my the set of the invariant measure such that the Lyapunov exponent measure equal to maximal Lyapunov exponent. But as I mentioned, uh, this is not a necessary case for minimal Lyapunov exponent. And I will show an example to you that 
there does not exist any invariant measure such that the Lyapunov exponent measure equal to minimal Lyapunov exponent. But before showing this example, since we know that the Lyapunov maximizing measure always exists, one may ask where they live in the base dynamic. Because of that one, we introduced the mother set, which is the set of the inhabit of the Lyapunov maximizing measure. The mother set, which you know, the K is equal to union of the support of the Lyapunov maximizing measure. In case of the matrix co-cycle, in my best knowledge for us, in case of one, it was introduced by Morris, and uh, recently, Jairobocchi and Garibaldi, they proved that for much general cases. But in general, this comes back to something which is called Aubrey mother theory, which I'm not going to discuss about this. So this is the mother set. Are there any questions still here? Yeah, feel free to ask any question, even any simple question. And you can interrupt me. Oh, Adam. So oh, uh, there's a there's an inf in the definition of alpha a yes where there's not a soup in the definition of beta a yeah as I explained the reason is this because the first one because of subadditivity of the supremum of the uh, norm a x the limb exists but the second one I don't have a this one that is why I wrote a limb in femur okay. Okay, sorry, I didn't hear you say that ah. earlier, but the existence is already known for the first yes. one. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your question. Any more? Yeah, feel free to interrupt me, ask questions. So let us see an example of the, where the, there does not exist uh, invariant measure such that uh, Lyapunov exponent measure uh, uh, equal to minimal Lyapunov exponent. This example, I mean, inspired by uh, uh, Boki, let T be the left shift and T A be one step co cycle, which A0 is a 20018 and A1 is the 90 degree rotation. Okay, I consider one step co cycle with two matrices. What is the claim? Claim is the minimal Lyapunov of exponent is equal to minus log two, but the infimum is not attained. I mean, this infimum. This infimum doesn't. Proof. A1 times A and zero is equal to zero, two power minus three and two and zero. And this is an easy exercise of linear algebra as I am value of the, the positive minus two power minus two and I. If you consider the measure mu n, which is a Dirac 1, 0, n, infinity, the Lyapunov exponent measure is a minus n over n plus 1 log 2. And when n goes to infinity, is a minus log 2. So minimal Lyapunov exponent is at most minus log 2. We know that the Lyapunov exponent, first Lyapunov exponent, is always greater than uh, sum over 2. This is clear. One, but what is the formula for Lyapunov exponent? First Lyapunov exponent is the limb one over n integral of the log first singular value. And second uh, Lyapunov exponent formula as a follow, limb one over n integral log second singular value. So we know that determinant is equal than uh, product of the first and second uh, singular value. So I can write it equal integral one over two log determinant a x d mu x. This is clear for everyone. Great. Yeah, look at again a zero and a one. Determinant in the best cases, I mean the minimum is, is greater or equal than one fourth. Greater or equal than one fourth. So this value is always greater or equal than minus log two. Therefore, minimal Lyapunov exponent is a minus log two. 
So I proved that first part of the molecule. Now I'm going to show that there does not, there is a no invariant measure such that the Lyapunov exponent measure equal the minimal Lyapunov exponent. So assume that there is. So if there is, then inequality two becomes uh, equality if and only if if I consider Dirac measure of the zero. But if I consider Dirac measure of the zero, then first inequality became a strict inequality. So there is a no measure attained that the Leopold exponent, first Leopold exponent is equal to minus zero. That's the example. Okay, we say that a co-cycle A is I dominated if there exists constant C greater one and tau between zero one, such that sigma I plus one, sigma I are singular value, or there is a sigma one greater than sigma two and uh, sigma I plus one, A and X over sigma I and, and X is smaller equal than C tau N for all N and X. This is called I dominated. This definition is, I mean, this is a theorem in fact that uh, First, John Christopher Yokos proved that in uh, dimension two and the book he Gormelon extended to higher dimension one. They show that this definition is equivalent to definition of the dominated, which can be uh, defined by using of the bundle, but I'm not going to use of the, this. They just, I just wrote the definition. In the one step co cycle, Bokeh and Morris they show that minimal Lyapunov exponents it continues under one domination assumption. One domination assumption, it means that it Above definition, just uh, sigma two over sigma one. Broom and the Serret give a counter example that we have a discontinuity of the minimal Lyapunov exponent for generic co-cycle. What I mean by generic co-cycle, I mean that a strongly reducibility and the full proximality. And the example is much, much complete than the example that I show you. So we know that uh, we have a continuity of the Lyapunov exponent if we have a, some kind of the domination. Let us see another example of the derivative co-cycle. The linear co-cycle generated by a diffeomorphism map F, a T, uh, on a closed Riemannian manifold M, and a derivative of the T, which I denote by AX, from tangent space of the x to tangent space to x. These examples are called derivative co-cycle. In a smooth dynamic, Lyapunov exponent are calculated by consider of the derivative co-cycle. Moreover, when T is a unsafe diffeomorphism or expanding map, Bob and they show that there exists a symbolic coding of the T by subshift finite type. So since now I'm working with following uh, co-cycle, T is a topological mixing subshift finite type, and A is a holder continuous. As you see, in general, one-step co-cycle, uh, we know a lot about the one-step co-cycle, uh, more general sub-derivative co-cycle, but here I'm trying to show some result of the derivative co-cycle because derivative co-cycle are much, much complicated of the one-step co-cycle. Fix theta between zero, one and endo sigma with metric D as a follow. Take two sequence X and Y and the distance it should be uh, theta power K where K is the largest integer such that XI equal YI for length I is smaller than K. A qubit with such a metric, the shift operator T becomes hyperbolic or amorphous. So I also assume that hyperbolicity for my base dynamic. And we say that T invariant measure mu on sigma has a local product structure if there exists a positive continuous function psi such that the restriction of the, the mu to cylinder I can be written on the psi M positive times M negative, where M positive and N negative a projection of the mu cylinder to a space of the one side sequence, indexed by positive and negative integer. Gibbs measure has a local product structure. 
uh, R holder continuous function A is called fiber bunch. If for any X, norm A X times norm inverse X, theta R is smaller than one. Where the theta is a hyperbolic constant defining a metric I use. What does mean fiber bunching? Fiber bunching, it means that your co-cycle is nearly conformal. Because if you consider any conformal matrices, it's satisfying the disinquality. If you perturb a bit your conformal matrices, again, the satisfying. And we say that a linear co-cycle TA is a fiber bunch if its generator A is a fiber bunch. And we denote it by HBR, sigma GL, ER, the, the family of the all holder continuous and the fiber bunch function. Bonatti, Gomez, Mont, and Viana, they show that holder continuity and the fiber bunch assumption imply the convergence of the uh, canonical holonomy, a stable and unstable holonomy. That means that for any Y belong to local stable and unstable one, a stable holonomy at point X to Y is a lean inverse A, A and Y, A and X as N goes to infinity, and unstable holonomy from X to Y is a lean inverse and y and x as n goes to minus infinity. And this result uh, was proven for partial hyperbolic system by Kalilin and Sediviskova. And uh, let me mention one remark to fiber bunch co-cycle. There is a conjecture by Viana. They say that Leopold in dimension to Leopold exponent continues if and only if the co-cycle is a fiber bunch. And this conjecture in the one side was proven by Aaron Braun, Lucas Bacchus, and Clark Butler. They proved that if your co-cycle is a fiber bunch and your measure have a local product structure, your co-cycle is continuous. Now I'm going to introduce the bonatti viana co-cycle. The linear co-cycle F satisfying the pinching and the twisting condition if there exists a periodic point P such that all I am value of the AQPO have a distinct value. This is the pinching condition. Twisting condition, they say, there exists a homoclinic point of the Z of the P such that psi PZ twists in direction of the AQPU where the psi PZ is equal to a composition of the stable and unstable holonomy. Sorry. A stable and unstable holonomy. Psi ZP is called loop holonomy. Pinching condition is clear to say that, okay, fine. One periodic point such that you have a distinct value, but twisting condition might be not very clear. So look at the following picture. This picture is in dimension two. P is a periodic point, Z is a homoclinic point. If you take any vector such V1 in the projective space at point, uh, uh, and tangent space at the P, on a stable hole, let me take any vector V1 to tangent space at C and a stable holonomy take any vector from Z to uh, tangent space. And that's the definition of the loop holonomy. Twisting condition, they say that psi Z P V1 or any vector never overlap with any ion vector. That's the definition of the twist. When you come back, it's never overlap with any ion vector. I denote W the set of the uh, holder and the fiber bunch co-cycle, which is uh, A is the pinching and the twisting. Bonatti Viana, they show that this set is open and the there. In the, uh, I mean, in the holder topology. So now I'm gonna update all of the, my definition for Leopold of exponent. Level set, it should be set of the point where the top Leopold of exponent is, exists and equal to alpha. And Leopold of spectrum is a set of the alpha such that there exists a point that uh, top Leopold of exponent is equal to alpha. And uh, omega is a Leopold of exponent, a set of the Leopold of exponent measure. As you see, definition of the level set and Leopold of spectrum are closed. You would like to see that what's the relation between these two, uh, two definitions. And we would like to give an answer what should be the size of the E alpha or topological entropy of the E alpha. Leopold 
Leopold spectrum is the closed and convex. Uh, for one step co cycle was proven by Feng under irreducibility assumption for generic co cycle or W, it was proven by Park for fiber bunch co cycle in dimension two was proven by myself in my thesis. And irreducibility assumption it means there does not exist a vector such that the co cycle is invariant. For generic co-cycle, I mean, for A belongs to omega, uh, W, I show that the Lyapunov spectrum is equal to closure of the set of the alpha, such that the topological entropy of the level set is a positive. And topological entropy is a concave inside of the Lyapunov spectrum. And that's, uh, that gives answer to first question. We have something like that one. Topological entropy inside of the Lyapunov spectrum is a positive, but we don't know at the boundary. In fact, there is a conjecture to say that uh, topological entropy of the levels at the maximal Lyapunov exponent in this point is zero under generic assumption. But at minimal Lyapunov exponent, it's not the true, as the Bokeh and Rams gave a counterexample for this. So now I'm going to discuss about the conjecture. They say that topological entropy of the uh, level set is zero under generic assumption. The conjecture say for typical chaotic XT and typical smooth function F, the maximizing measure is a unique and has a low complexity. Low complexity means either zero topological entropy or support on periodic point or Image, support of image. This conjecture was proven for Berkhov average recently by Gonzalo Contreras. He showed that if XT is the expanding map, then the generic Lipschitz function is also true for Holder. If X has a unique maximizing measure, which is support on the periodic only, moreover, zero temperature limited. Now we have a following open course. Is the conjecture true for Lyapunov exponent? Means that the support of the Lyapunov maximizing measure is the periodic orbit under certain assumption? The answer is negative. The conjecture was shown to be false by Cherubush and Mires. Their control example are pair of the matrices in GL2, such that maximizing measure are Estormia, but not periodic. But it's very difficult, I mean, to construct your example. It's very wise example, but it's difficult to construct. Uh, Hare, Maurice, Sidorf, and Hayes, I hope I pronounced correct. They gave a simple example. They show that the conjecture is false. But all example is one is one step co cycle. But one step co cycle don't look very typical. So I would say that because all example is related to one step co cycle, but nobody knows. For example, in case of the Bonatti Viana co cycle, whether the conjecture is true or not. And this conjecture, I mean, case of the, I mean, not one step, is it still open? Consider project, uh, projective space of the PR2. A multi cone for one step co cycle A1, A2 is open set such that M has a finite number of the connected component and they have a disjoint closure. For every I, the closure of the image of the AIM is contained in M. This is called the definition of the multi cone. I'm talking about the one step co cycle. As you see, I consider finite set of the matrices. And the example of the, the multicon, it should be if consider all AI is a positive, the first quadrant is a multicon.
Arthur Avila, Jai Roboki, and John Christopher Yokos, they show that the one step for cycle is dominated if and only if it has multicon. I'm talking about dimension two. This is also true for GLDR and was proven by Boki and Gormelo. Oh, let's give a nice picture because maybe that's just formula. Look at the this picture. In this picture, I consider two matrices, A1 and A2, are hyperbolic or dominated, and they consider five components. Multicon consider five components, as you see, green one. This is a multicon. And um, uh, inner arrows in the, in, in the shows that uh, a stable on a stable direction, and the red one and the blue one, they show that the action of the A and the B on each component. So for one step co-cycle, I mean, for those of you who are familiar with smooth dynamic, this should be the definition of the invariant cone field for one step co-cycle. We say that a co-cycle A, I mean, this is fine at set, that is why in the forward non-overlap condition, if there are a strictly forward invariant multicon M, such that AIM, intersection of the AJM is empty, whenever IJ uh, different for all IJ, corresponding of the number of the matrices. And we say that a co-cycle A, satisfy the back for non-overlap condition if it's true for in all inverse. And we say that co-cycle is the, uh, satisfy the uh, knock or non-overlap condition if satisfy the both uh, forward and backward knock. What non-overlap condition, uh, uh, condition they say that? They say that if you consider any matrix in each component, their image are different. Previous example is satisfy non-overlap condition. Look at Green one is the action of the A1, and blue one is the action of the A2. Consider, for example, this component. If I consider the A1, you see this goes here. If I consider A2, this goes to here. So intersection is a zero. Again, for each component. For example, this. If you consider A1, this goes here. If you consider A2, this goes here. In this example, satisfy in the non-overlap condition. Are there any questions? Okay. So let AT be the two-dimensional one-step co-cycle satisfying the pinching and twisting condition. Assume that co-cycle A satisfies the non-overlap condition on the mother set. Then I show that the entropy of the any Lyapunov of maximizing measure is a zero. Let me mention there are two results in my best knowledge. One of them is due to Mark and Jenkinson, and another one due to Boki and Niha. They both have the same assumption. They assume that the co-cycle is dominated and they assume the non-overlap condition. But here, as you see, I don't assume domination. I assume the pinching and the twisting condition, and I assume the non-overlap condition just on the mother set, not the whole set. I'm not saying that the, uh, anything about like periodic or estormia, because as I told you, it's not necessarily true. The support of the Leopold of maximizing measure is the periodic one, as Bush and Miguel gave an example. You know, phi A, log of the norm A, I proved that restricted variantial principle for um, generic co-cycle. Assume that T, X is a topological mixing subshift finite type. Suppose that A belongs to generic co-cycle W. Then topological entropy of the level set is equal to supremum of the measure theoretical entropy 
which the Lyapunov exponent is equal to alpha over the space of the thin variant border probability mesh. And that's equal to infimum of the topological pressure minus alpha Q over R, for all alpha belongs to omega. Omega is a set of the Lyapunov exponent measure. So we have a picture something like that. The restricted variantial principle says something as follows. Red one is the graph of the topological pressure, and the blue line is the tangent to uh, the topological pressure at point Q. And in the intersect of the axis of the topological pressure at the this point, and the this point is a topological entropy of the level set, which is equal to entropy of the equilibrium, unique equilibrium measure mu Q2. And by variantial principle, that's equal to topological pressure plus alpha Q. That means that restricted variational principle. Uh, let V be the uh, capital V be sub additive potential. We can define Lyapunov exponent measure, maxima Lyapunov exponent, everything for sub additive potential by using of the Kimang sub additive theorem. As you see, the Lyapunov exponent measure is the limb. 1 over n integral log phi and d mu x. Uh, maximal Lyapunov exponent is a lim 1 over n log supremum of the phi and x over compact metric space x. That's equal to supremum of the Lyapunov exponent measure over the space of the team variant borrow probability measure. And m max f, the set of the Lyapunov maximizing measure that is set of the invariant measure uh, such that the maximal Lyapunov exponent is equal to Lyapunov exponent measure. And I proved that zero temperature limit for sub additive potential. To be more precise, let XT be the topological dynamical system such that the entropy map is upper semi continuous and topological entropy is finite. Suppose that phi is the sub additive potential in the compact metric space X, then we can start accumulation mu of the family of the equilibrium measure mu T for potential T phi, where T positive has a Lyapunov maximizing measure. Let me mention. As the Kari Shimon mentioned, uh, variantial principle for sub additive potential was proven by Tao Feng Huang. Yeah, so equilibrium measure, it means that satisfying the variantial principle uh, in the sense of the Tao Feng Huang. And another thing, set of the equilibrium measure is a compact and convex with respect to weak star topology. So there exists of the convergence subsequent, but what I show that any weak star accumulation mu is a Lyapunov maximizing measure. In this sense that Lyapunov exponent measure is equal to uh, maximal Lyapunov exponent. I also proved that continuity of the zero temperature limit in the sense of the Lyapunov exponent and entropy. To be more precise, lim Ti goes to infinity, uh, Lyapunov exponent mu Ti, when Ti goes to infinity equal to Lyapunov exponent mu phi. And we have a same story for entropy. I'm not saying that the limit exists because it's not true. As the Hochman and the Chazot gave a counter example, and they show that zero temperature, I mean, the limit doesn't necessarily exist. I'm just saying that any weak star accumulation point is a Lyapunov maximizing measure. But now the question is under what assumption the limit exists? We denote by Ln the set of the admissible word of the sigma with length n. I'm working with sub finite type. We say that mu t has a following Gibbs property for t phi a, where t positive, there exists t greater one equal one, such that for any n belongs to n and j belongs to Ln, we have a c minus one, a smaller equal than mu t cylinder g over e power minus n phi t times norm of the a and x power t, a smaller equal than c, for any x belong to cylinder g. It's the definition of the Gibbs property. And if a belongs to generic co-cycle to w, the previous theorem, zero temperature, is hold for Gibbs measure. Because in previous theorem, equilibrium measure is not necessary um, uh, doesn't necessarily have the Gibbs property. In case of the matrix co-cycle, I don't know, you just consider this simple example.
just consider this thing. Uh, let XT be the topological dynamical system such that the entropy map is the upper semi continuous and topological entropy is a finite. Suppose that the matrix co cycle over topology uh, A is a matrix co cycle over topological equal system XT and there exists invariant cone field CX. Then the minimal Lyapunov exponent can be approximated by Lyapunov exponent of the equilibrium measure. For the almost additive potential T phi A, where the T is the belong to real number. Moreover, a minimizing measure for A exists. So I show that the minimal Lyapunov exponent can be approximated by Lyapunov exponent of the equilibrium measure. But here I assume that existence of the invariant quantity. If I remove this assumption, the theorem is false. But if you uh, remember, Bokhi and Morris, they proved the continuity of the minimal Lyapunov fixed exponent under one domination. But here I assume that the existence of the invariant quantity. But domination can be characterized in terms of the existence of the invariant quantity. Uh, in case of the, I'm writing the history of the, the, this uh, fact that domination is equivalent to invariant conflict. Um, Avila, Boki, and Yokos, 2010, they proved that when T is a full shift and A is the X from G L2 is a one step co cycle, they proved that domination is equivalent to uh, multicon. They also proved that if Tx is a transitive subshift finite type, and again, A is a uh, I mean, one step co cycle is also true. There exists of the multicon. Boki Gormel on the extended DR result, I mean, just first part to GLDR. But I mean, as you see, their paper is first paper appeared 2010 and extension is appeared 2009. The date, I mean, everything is correct. As far as I know that they were writing of the, the paper, then the uh, gyro found that he can extend the, the paper to general cases, but uh, first they submit second paper, then first paper appear later. That's the story. And recently, Gyro Boki, uh, Rafael Potrie, and Andres San Marino, they show that even if Tx is a sub uh, suffix shift and A is a uh, one step co cycle again, uh, domination is equivalent to multicon. And uh, Silvan Corvizier and Rafael Potria, they show that when F is a diffeomorphism and A is uh, DFX, I mean, derivative co cycle, domination is equivalent to uh, invariant confi. And finally, I show that continuity of the minimal Lyapunov fixed exponent for much general cases. Let X T be topological mixing subshift finite type. Suppose that A and A are matrix co cycle over X T and phi A has a bonded distortion. Pay attention, I'm just assuming that phi A has a bonded distortion, not phi A N. And I also assume that existence of the invariant cone field. Then we have a continuity of the minimal Lyapunov fixed exponent. This result, given because uh, uh, is much general than after Boki Morris cases, because Boki Morris cases they are just working with one step co cycle, and they have a bonded distortion, they have a lot of property. But here I'm working the much general cases. My co cycle is a depend of the uh, base map and depend of the point, not the just zero coordinate, unlike of the one step co cycle. And that was, uh, I think, last slide of my talk. And at the end, happy birthday, Felix. <laughs> Are there any questions for Reza? Okay. Are there any ways to compute explicitly this? Maximizing measures in some case, or at least approximate them. Uh, yes. In case of the Berkhoff averages, in the graph theory, there is this 
algorithm is called Carpes algorithm. And uh, you can precisely calculate it of the uh, distance. But uh, in case of the Leop, um, Leopold exponent, uh, in base my knowledge, I don't know. But in case of the pair of averages, there is an algorithm is called Carpes algorithm. Just you can find the Wikipedia and you can calculate it and find. Yeah, but for matrix cycles, usually it's really hard. Yeah. So yeah, 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 I, yeah, I wonder whether you know. Or... No, no, I mean, as I told you, in my best knowledge in the matrix cycle, there are just two results for the entropy. And uh, there are not a lot of results in this case, because the matrix cycle, Leopold, I mean, ergodic optimization of the Leopold exponent is much, much difficult than ergodic optimization of the Berkhoff average. Are there any other questions? Okay, if not, let us thank, thank Reza again. Thank you. And our next and last talk 